in East Africa. Then next we got to visit Freddie Mercury House. I hope you know him. The man was born here. Freddie Mercury. Oh, Freddie. We are the champions. From Queen. From the Queen's band, oh, yes. The man born here. Good. Next we got to see the old fort. Built by the Arabs. That was after fighting the Portuguese. When the Portuguese ran away, Arabs got ideas that maybe they can get reorganized and come back very strong. So they built it in order for them to fight from inside. And that was around 1700. The fort, we use it much for different festivals, like what we call Saudi. Zabusara, or in Swahili, Sounds of Wisdom, is where we always conduct Zanzibar Reggae Music Festival mm. on that place. Then next we got to see Furudani Garden, and from that, that garden we got to see the House of Wonders. Possibly we can get a chance to get in, otherwise we get the information from outside. Then at last we got to visit the palace, palace museum. Then from there, back to Florodan Garden, where the Florodan market food, uh, yes, food market, the restaurant is located there for you to have lunch. Then after lunch, we are going to be taking two boats from there to Prison Island. It is about half an hour, Prison on the sea. And we get over there, get information about the island, and then I'll be giving you, giving you information on how to deal with the tortoise. They are very big, they don't bite, but whenever you feed it something, be careful on your fingers. They don't lose a finger. They are vegetarians, but they don't care to bite you. If you put together your finger with something to eat, in the mouth, okay? So we got there to see the big ones, the kindergarten ones, the baby ones. The next we got to see the prison, which is now the ruins. And then from there back to the beach. Maybe you can spend some time over there. There's a very good bridge to go through to make pictures over there. And then from there back to Stone Town. I think maybe shopping can be done after Prison Island before catching the bus back to the hotel. Now. Okay, fine. I'm getting some information here. You are afraid to buy something. Maybe whatever you saw on the streets. But on the way back from Prison Island, 
is where we are going to be having enough time to make something and then from there to the bus. I do that in order to avoid you carrying a lot of items to the boat and then back to the boat and then back to Stone Town. That be free to stop and then from there to the bus and then and then and then and then back to the restaurant. As the Malice spoke to you, Stone Town is very, very safe. Nobody can grab anything from you. Okay? And remember that the town is fitted with CCTV cameras all over every corner. Yes, so be free to take whatever items you have. But as I spoke to you from the beginning, I think yesterday, when you're moving through the locals, like at the market, sometimes the market looks to be very congested, so watch out for items. You understand? And the for those who are going to be making pictures using cameras, but better you keep your cameras in your hand. You understand? The business of making pictures then back to the pocket and then up to the pocket again and again, understand? Sometimes you can be making a chance to somebody to do something. Otherwise, it's okay. Ask permission to the locals if you make pictures direct from them. Otherwise, make pictures of items, not of them. They don't care. Make pictures, pictures of groups, combining everybody understand. They don't care, but for individual pictures, okay, ask the permission. The answer is yes, not, or pay me something. When we are going to be walking down the streets, remember that we are going to be keeping left side. In Zanzibar, we keep left because of the British. The streets are very narrow. And the locals know that you keep left. So when you go like this way, sometimes you can be confusing the locals. But for some places, depending on the condition of the streets, I'll be telling you, go to the left side or maybe go to the right side. So that uh, let me be the pilot. Understand? Don't, don't make everyone a pilot, otherwise they'll be getting stuck by the bicycles or whatever on, 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 on the way. So far the weather is okay, but our weather is unpredictable. Understand? So let us get ready for whatever comes. But, yes, maybe we can make it and finish before. It starts raining. Stone Town is a place whereby different people are living. For example, look at around here. We see only locals. We don't see Indians around here. We don't see Arabs around here. But Stone Town is where everybody can live. So the buildings are for everybody. For the richest, for the rich, for the poor. All of us we can manage to live there. Remember that Zanzibar is a revolutionary country. We got our independence through revolution, and that was 12 January 1964. The British came to Zanzibar 1890 for protectorate. They left Zanzibar 1963, but unfortunately, the British left Zanzibar with Arabs, with the government taken by the Arabs, not by the locals. So after one year, we came to change ideas that this is time for us to be independent, so that we came to fight against the Arabs. But we had a very good help from Tanganyika to make it possible within a single day. That's why after three months, we came to unite with Tanganyika in order to make to make us strong to fight back if maybe the Arabs can make the, the way back so that after revolutions after the revolution all the buildings which were owned by the Arabs were taken by the local government then distributed to the locals even the land came to be taken and then given to the locals. Remember that by the time we had, we had Arabs here, that was the time 
when Zanzibar came to be named as the Spice Island because the Arabs were only big farms. Then after the revolution, the government came to take those big farms, dividing them to the locals, which means the big farms came to be divided to small farms. Then at the end of the day, Zanzibar came to start producing less spices so that today we are no longer big producers of spices like, like, like the way it was. It was before. Today is the school day. On the way out, we drive, expect to see children. And remember that at 10 o'clock, it is recess. You understand when it's the recess? Yes, and we call it recess in the Swahili here because of the bridges. That's the time when the children will be seen chilling outside, buying something, going back at home to do something, and then coming back for those who live nearby to the school. So very soon, about 10 o'clock maybe before leaving, uh, leaving long time. How long, how long did you give? We're gonna see them. How much time did you give for reasons? It's half an hour. Yes, it is half an hour. Yes, and as Mary spoke to you, at schools, you see those girls covering the heads, understand? It is a uniform, which means both Muslims and Christians must be covering their heads, understand? That's why it is like that way. But in classrooms, they are sitting together, boys and girls, but separate. Understand? One side boys and the other side is girls, okay? We are with a lot of children for most of the families. Remember that we are a Muslim uh, community, which means the Muslims do not believe much on family planning. Don't believe much on family planning. They always need to be a lot. Understand? So we are with an average of five children per family. And we don't have yet enough classrooms, which means we have two shifts per day. Morning shift from seven to one, and then the afternoon from 1 to 6. So that's why on the way now, somewhere, you may see some children just playing at home because they are going in the afternoon shift. Which means going to school, it is compulsory. For them to go to school, it is compulsory. If you don't take your children to school, you are in a big trouble for the government. Understand? Yes. It is very compulsory for the children to go to go to school. Go to school. Okay, as we go around here, you can see some people standing on the way, yeah. like waiting for someone. Most of them are waiting for the local public buses. We don't have many bus stops so that they do stop wherever you are and pick you up. That's what you can see. And uh, most of the shops are located next to the road. So people from inside over there are just coming here to buy something. As Mary spoke to you, like the markets we are buying the every day, every time. Like, yes, like that. Most of the women stay at home. But some of them are employed by the government, like teachers, like, like nurses. And remember that for Zanzibar, we are a Muslim country, but women and men are with equal opportunities. You understand? Are with equal opportunities. And they are very good protected by the government. So from the women, we are with members of parliament. We are with head of the villages. You understand? Even the vice president of Tanzania is a lady from Zanzibar. You understand? Okay? So that is, that is how it is. Most of the men, are with one wife. But yeah. some of them are with two, three, four, five, four six, is the maximum. That's done. No, no, the locals. Yes, like those who works to the government, to business people. Because having more than one wife is group economics. You have to be with a very good economy, economy. Which means you must be having more than one house. <laughs> it is Why difficult. The single house to two, <laughs> two wives, two queens, understand? Yes. Yeah, remember that village museum. Understand, yes, yes. So that uh, most of the men do it just uh, to show the, the richness that I am rich, I have got a good position in the government, I can manage. 
Mm. So the ones who can make it, make it possible. Otherwise, not try it. Mm. Yes, you are in a big, big trouble. Okay, so that is, that is, that is how it is. Shops around you over here, the owners are paying tax to the government. We pay taxes, understand? And it is compulsory. Like, you like it or not, because you are with the business, you must pay the tax to the government. Understand? So that we are with taxes which are different levels. Like those shops around here can be paying the same. But with the big shops, we do pay VAT. VAT, maybe you know that. Value added tax, maybe like some. Oh, yes, that's the children, but that's much more than house. Yes, please. If you don't pay, uh, you can be fined. Otherwise, your business can be closed by the government. What about, yeah. what about imprisonment? Uh, it depends on how much you need to pay. Because it depends on how much money you need to pay to the government. But if it's just not a big one, the government is giving you a chance. Not like before. Today, they gave you a chance. Yes, pay it within the next three months. If you don't, we take more actions. So if you don't pay the, the three, uh, for the next three months, you can maybe even jail. But uh, the government is not to, don't like to see you getting jailed. They like to see you pay. They like to educate you to know that you pay this because because of for paying the money taxes is when the government can make something and make developments. So we are trying to do something. And remember that people from Zanzibar, because of the way we live loving each other, smiling to each other, yes. understand? So somebody coming to you to ask you to pay taxes is not coming with, understand? He comes to you friendly, understand? Please, yes, do it, do it, understand? <laughs> Please, My, yes, because of knowing each other, yes. You know sometimes something was not going well because of people knowing each other. For example, I am the head of the revenue authority, understand? And you are my brother, you are my sister, I know you are from my family, I know you. When I come to you, I cannot tell you. Just calling you, my brother, listen, tomorrow they are coming, for example. <laughs> Don't open, understand? Don't open, But for now, at least, because people are starting doing something. So, we pay it and this. So how many times a year are they we pay annually, yes, per year, per year. Okay, so for those with so permanent businesses, we pay per year for those, yes. Like but for those who are with temporary businesses, like the one who are selling like tomatoes, like yeah. fish, whatever, understand? You pay per day. Whenever you go to the market with the fish, with tomatoes, there is somebody coming to take you for that particular day. Exactly. If you don't come tomorrow, you understand? You pay nothing because you didn't bring anything to the market, so that so is how it is. Is it based on how much you sold that day? How much tax? No, there is a fixed flat. amount, fixed flat. flat. Understand? Flat. Like others spoke to you, those shops around here, they are paying the same. Understand? Flat for this business. Because we are different, we are with different levels of businesses. Small ones, they know how, how small it is. A big one, they know how big it is. Understand? Yes, that is how. So they own a bus moving in the areas, in the villages, seeing how big or small you are. Yes, yes, yes. So they are uh, registered and the checking for taxes, it is not for every day. They are with specific days to be coming, maybe at the end of the month or whatever like that. So that is, that is, that is. How it is this? Uh, it is, uh, it is like a market, but this is what we call temporary businesses. So those business are open because of the bus. Yes. So, so, so that would be based. Yeah. So that is that is that is how it is. Around here, down here, you can see we grow rice. The self fat it is, and then we make dikes. You know dikes? Make dikes. Yes. To, to 
to allow the water to be collected and then be pulverized on a place like, yes, like, 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 like